So as you can see here, what you do, you take the screwdriver, once that's, once that's in, you can also push from behind the headboard a little bit so it sits, and just turn it, and it will pull the headboard itself. It'll pull it. There you go. So you'll feel it come to a stop. Same on this side. So see how there's a gap there now? So watch what happens. Move that in a little bit. There. See how tight that got? That said, don't over tighten these because if you over tighten them, they will break. Next thing is you got these four brackets. Four brackets you're going to use with these screws on each corner. This is for added support so that over time those don't wear out. Alright guys, so for these, um, for the foot footrest and also the supplies to the headboard, there's going to be three of these wooden parts and then two of these um, Phillips screws. So this will actually go right in here like that. And then what will happen is it will go like this and as you tighten it, it will actually tighten on here. So pay close attention. This part will go like this facing this way. See this? There's a notch that has to go in there and face this way. What you're trying to do is line up with that hole right there. So you put that in there and then put this onto this side rail and then you're going to turn this bolt, you're going to turn it roughly, I want to say between 45 to 90 degrees. You'll feel it stop, but don't overturn it because if you overturn these, They'll, they will break here on this part. Um, these bolts here, the positions for these, don't worry about this model, but if your has these, make sure that your model maybe has the additional chrome legs that attach to the corners. And this particular model doesn't come with them. Okay, so here you can see clearly that this piece is in. You can just take a mallet I'm going to hammer it in, or some pliers, hammer that in, uh, two of these guys, one, two, and then what I do is I take this entire piece, stand it up like this, and the easiest thing to do, you can do this obviously however you want to, but over the course of many years, the easiest way to put this together is like this, you can actually stand all of them up, see it's standing on its own, not even moving, and uh, then go ahead and uh, use this bolt with the drill to use the Phillips in uh, one support there, one there, one there, and repeat for all sides. So once you put two of these support rails in, you're going to Take one hand here, one hand here, and put it down, okay? And then uh, finish off that last one. So we're gonna be off the ground. See, it comes off the ground by about three and a half inches. And make sure you don't over tighten this bolt because if you strip the threads, it'll be useless. Um, luckily, they've thought of that. So if that happens, you actually have a backup on this side. But the problem is, is that you'll have to rearrange these boards um, to different sides because on this side there's no actual place for you to mount mount this guy here. Okay, so you see what I mean when I said it's going to be off the ground? So basically now that is perfectly level 
with the actual support. So it's much easier to do it to do it this way. On the other side, um, obviously you can't do this. You can't lift the whole thing up. So you're just gonna have to just lift the board and continue one, two, three. Okay, so at this point, all four brackets are in. One, two, three, and four. And again, all these are four is to provide additional support. The main bolts that everything is holding on is these two guys here. So what I do is I put one screw in each side. This is MDF, so it'll hold one screw here and one screw here. Last thing we do is, for the frame at least, is you take these covers and you simply cover up the screw holes for cosmetic reasons and you do that on all four sides. All right guys, so when you put this, these uh, pins in, make sure they're flush. They're flush with the inside edge. You don't wanna push them in like all the way because then you're gonna have a hard time getting these to line up. And then after you do that, once you push this in, what you're gonna do is just take your hand and just, once that's assembled, knock it this way. And what that'll do is that'll bring the entire footboard over to the headboard, right? And then you take a screwdriver like this and you're gonna turn it uh, clockwise, I believe. Yeah, so clockwise, um, 45 to 90 degrees until it stops. Don't use a drill here. You gotta use a, or just a regular screwdriver. All right guys, so real quick, just wanna um, walk you through the installation for uh, status um, bedroom set. This is gonna be applied to the Dream, Vlade, Prestige, and Sarah, um, and Life as well. Pretty much to put the bed together, it's the same um, principle for, I would say 90% of the merchandise that Status sells out of Italy. So first things first, with the headboard, there are gonna be supplied three of these um, metal tubes. So they're, they're like three metal supports. And all you do is you put the headboard down on the floor, and then you're going to use six, the supplied six Phillips screws with a power drill. And uh, you're gonna attach this. Notice it goes at an angle. You see like this? So make sure that when you're putting this here in the front, put some sort of support. I use like a piece of cardboard, put some sort of support here because it must be angled. Otherwise you're just gonna strip the screws out and uh, gonna have some problems. So this is the first thing. Next is this. So these supply here with each set, okay? Like with all of the bolts. So you take this here, it will go inside, okay? And then from the other side here, there's gonna be a special screw. I believe it's this here. Special screw that will go here, inside here. And then into these two holes, you're gonna put this um, piece of wood into the top and the bottom. And what this does is allows you to align these frame rails to the sideboards and also to the footboard as well. Okay? And you're gonna do this on all of the sides, everywhere. Okay guys, so the final part of this is obviously the slats, right? So um, there's, uh, make sure that you have the correct slats because they are made in China slats and there's also the ones that are supposed to be with this bed, which are made in Italy. A couple ways you can tell you're gonna have these blue inserts here, which the Chinese slats do not have. Also, these slats are gonna be a lot sturdier and a lot thicker than the Chinese slats. You also might have a sticker where it says made in Italy. Um, so basically, here's what you do. This is the center support bar. Leg will go right here. When you tighten that in, and after you set the frame in place, this is adjustable. So you can, you can make it higher or lower depending on the setting that you need. Here's the bolt with the Allen key, which they did not 
supply. Look at my supply, so I'm gonna have to use my Allen keys for those. And then these bolts here, they'll be like this. And it goes in between here. So basically what you do is you take this guy, go from the inside edge like this, and then the bolt will slide in through the top with the kit supply, there's also these felt pads. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put two in each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they give you a few extra, which you can actually use for the bed frame, as I mentioned before. For any nightstand, dresser, or chest from status, usually they use this method. Um, so basically, you put the, the wooden studs into the nightstand or dresser. Now what you do, you're gonna need a long extension or at least a couple inches. Take the bolt, drop the bolt inside. It's gonna go on like this and then tighten from the bottom. That's all you do. All right, so for this one here, all you're gonna do is just hand tighten it. Hand tighten it at the top part as much as you can, and then adjust this accordingly to about the same length as these. So you're gonna use a 13 millimeter millimeter for the top part. So put in and then tighten with this. Okay guys, so the installation of the bed is complete. Um, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five support legs, which the mattress will lay right on top. All that space underneath is going to be empty. You can utilize it for storage, storage space if you would like. The other thing I recommend to do is to attach some sort of felt pad covers here, if you would like. Um, that way, if this, if this moves left or right, it won't make a noise um, hitting up against the side, the side rails here. So you could do one here, here, there, there, there. There, here, and here. Along the perimeter, if you choose to do that. So I wanted to show you guys real quick. When you put the dresser together, the legs on the dresser, put it on its side first. Then this whole uh, front, front part, with the phone that says front in the box, just go ahead and peel it off, peel it away, and then it's either the legs are going to be either in this one or in this one on the bottom. And in this case, they are right here. So it's very easy to do it this way, keeping everything intact. And then once you put the legs on, close this part back, take this whole dresser, put it back on its legs, and then you can actually remove the box. Rip this part out, this little part rip it out first and then that way you can just literally take the box off throw it out and not have to move this thing a hundred different times